What's going on, groups? So good to be with you again. I know you were expecting someone less husky than me, but Matt's not here, um, so I get to do groups questions today. So thank you for joining in, the, uh, joining us this week with groups. And as we dive in today, just just have it in your mind and remember. In this story of Elizabeth, really the underlying theme is that fixation we have on the thing God gives it, maybe the blessing, but how when we fixate on that and we lose our focus from God, what ends up happening is is we, we fall away from God, which is the truest gift we've ever been given. So we're hoping that these questions will help you dive in to your faith and how this may happen even in and around your own life and what you can do to guard your heart and your mind for every good work that he's prepared for you in Christ Jesus. And that means at times for us taking a good look and having good conversations around the fact that sometimes our heart gets misaligned. I'm excited for these group's questions and we will dive into them right now. Kyle. Cut to awesome anime music. So cutting away to my anime fight scene, which was awesome, by the way. Kyle, hopefully you had someone that, like, you know when they like, like and they jump and they fly and like lightning comes out. I would hope there was that graphic on there. Um, so I, I forgot to do the icebreaker, which I haven't done this in a while. So just a little grace, quit judging. <laughs> okay, uh, the icebreaker. Think back to when you were a child. Oh. And um, and what particular gift do you remember really hoping to get before Christmas? Do you remember that gift? I can tell you mine. It was the Sky Striker, the F-14 Tomcat by G.I. Joe. Go, Joe. So talk about it. Tell each other what your dream gifts were when you were little. Well, now that you all know weird things about each other, like, wow, you know, I, I can't believe Matt wanted a Cabbage Patch doll. It seems weird, but okay. Um, so I'm glad you got to hear about that in your childhood dreams. But go ahead and make sure you read the scripture from this uh, week. Luke chapter 1, 39 to 45, and we'll dive right in to our discussion questions. Discussion question number one. Did you ever receive a gift that you had really, really wanted, um, you know, maybe for so long? You had really wanted and you received it, but then you lost interest in the gift shortly after you received it. Discussion question number two. Take a minute and uh, describe a time, talk with your group about a time where... Um, where you thought, where in your mind your thoughts were kind of fixated on the fact that if you had only achieved or possessed blank, whatever that may be, you would have been happy. Discuss that together and don't forget, use those little follow-up questions to help kind of fuel that discussion. Question number three, um, describe some of the feelings that Elizabeth, that you think Elizabeth may have felt after Zachariah told her, I mean, clearly he told her in writing because he was mute, but uh, describe some of the feelings you think Elizabeth would have had when she understood what Zachariah was trying to tell her about the angel's visit and the promise of them having a son. Question number four, think about your current needs right now, your current needs and desires. What are you fixating on? What has got your attention and, and time and energy right now? Question number five, how could you refocus all the energy and attention you are giving to what you want? And where else could that attention and energy be better invested? I 
I've got one announcement at the end of this video, so don't cut out too quick. But also, don't forget, if you have a little extra time, those Digging Deeper questions are available on your group sheet. Make use of those. Dig in and let that um, continue to nourish, bless, and fill your spirit and your life as you work through some of the deeper issues that are present in this story. Now, on to my announcement. There's another opportunity for some Nartel. So before my announcement, Erica and I just agreed that if she wrote a segue, she would A, crash violently, and B, until that crash happened, the whole time, whether good or bad, she would be screaming. Just a little information. I married a screamer. She doesn't scream at me. Have you ever screamed at me? I don't think you've screamed at me. This is awesome. It's witty banter. <laughs> Kyle screamed at me. He didn't. No, he's never screamed at me. Kyle, have you ever screamed at your family? Oh my gosh, Lindsay, stop! I can't see you being like, Steve and Christy, enough! <laughs> All right. Uh, nice, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I'm sorry, Holly, I didn't mean to leave you out. Kyle would never yell at you, but he yells at me. All right. Here we go. Uh, I do have one announcement, though, and we're getting to it the roundabout way, but speaking of roundabouts, that uh, by Captain Sunday, how's that going for everybody? I think it's been good. I've enjoyed that. Less traffic. Just for all the haters, I thought that's gone well. Okay, so uh, the get thing we wanted to announce to you and talk to you about was this. We have the 22 families that are in need in our community. So when we talk about you having needs and stuff, you're aware of this, you know what it feels like, and there are families in our community who are simply not in a position to have any kind of Christmas. What we've done as a church is we wanna sponsor that. Many people have picked up the tags that are here in the causeway, Awesome, bless you, thank you for doing that. But we haven't seen much traction online, so what we wanna do is let you know, for you who are watching this, you groups um, who are watching this and wanna connect, but maybe you don't come here physically right now and you're watching from home for worship services, you can pick up a tag online. What you do is you go to the Foundry website, www.foundrychurch.net, and uh, you go up to the serve, not give, you can go to the give. I mean, we appreciate that. But you go to the serve, you click on that, and then there is a sign-up genius there. And you can sign up and pick up the tags uh, digitally for people. You can buy those and then drop them off um, yeah, you just need to make sure you note who they're for. But we need you guys to be doing it. We want you to be doing it because there's families who need uh, the opportunity to celebrate Christmas together and to experience the love and grace of a Christian community reaching out and caring for them in a season where they desperately needed help. So we're hoping you will be able to do that. So go to foundrychurch.net, click on the serve and follow that sign up genius prompt and you can pick up some of those tags. There's bigger items, there's littler items, whatever you can afford to be a part of. We would love to give you the chance to partner with us as we bless 22 families in need right here in the greater Zealand area. Okay, Kyle, fine, quit yelling at me. Turns out he does yell. Have a great week, groups. I'm so glad that you uh, joined us and we're gonna see you uh, hopefully soon. If not, you'll see me online which seeing you would be better. I would love to see you, but only feel safe. All right, that got awkward. See you later.